Okay, for part two for this tutorial, let's um, let's add to our simple little uh, local area network that we have here, right? I've got a PC, a switch, and a server. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in a router. But what I might want to do is, let's see here, end devices, no, routers, no, wireless devices. Let's use something that somebody would see in their home network typically. So I've got this um, Linksys router here. Let's bring it out, right? So we're going to add a router to our network here, right? So we've got a wireless router here, Linksys, and let's add the IP address to this label here just so we know what it is. It's going to be 192.168 and typically uh, .1 it needs to be on the same network as the other computers and a router is typically the first address um, by convention doesn't have to be but typically it, it, routers are often the one address so we made it 192.168.1.1 then I'm going to symbolize the internet by getting this cloud here and this cloud will then symbolize the internet out here right okay and then what I'll do is I'll click on the wire um, on the wires here, on the connection de um, devices here to connect and from the switch to a router is a straight through cable. So what I'll do is, is I'll grab a straight through cable and I'll go to the next available Ethernet port and I'm going to go to this router and I'm going to go to its Ethernet port. All right, So to the Ethernet port with a straight through cable. Right? We'll see how that works. Then from the router to the Internet or and typically in your home this would be from the router to the modem or from the router to a DSL modem or from the router to a um, or to a cable modem or sometimes your ISP gives you a wireless router that has the modem built into it but in this case we'll say we're going to the internet this way I'm just gonna take the um, let's see here I'll take automatically choose your own type and then I'll click here and then I'll click here right but notice that if we look over this now, that is set to the um, internet port on the router. In other words, it's plugged in to the internet port. All right. Okay. So from so if we look at this router, you can see here the router has this is the back of the router. We'll zoom in, and you'll see that it's got four Ethernet ports, right? And it's got a WAN port. And this is the port that goes to the internet. This is goes to separate um, ISP network. And this is to your local area network here. And all of these ports go to your local area network as well as the wireless signal too. So let's configure this router. So this wireless router will go to config, right? And we'll say LAN. And look, it's got an IP address there on its LAN. And it's wireless and the internet, right? So um LAN interface settings display name right 1.1 interface LAN we're going to give it a 1.1 address all right for its LAN settings all right we'll click here and close it all right and now we have a router so we should be able to ping from our PC to our router let's test that out so we click on the PC and open up a command prompt, right? And type ping 192.168.1.1. Hit enter, and we get a reply. And so we now have a way out of our network, right? And if that's the case, then what we can do is we can go to our IP configuration dialog box here, and we can add that router as our default gateway. All right, perfect. Okay, let's keep adding to our network by adding some more services to our web server. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, first of all, let's look at this PC client here. Let's say right now we run the web browser. And if we type in the IP address of our web server or our server, we get the web page, right? But what if we wanted to say that this this web page, this website, let's say, would be like, we could be somebody like, I don't know, um, super 
yahoo.com. So superyahoo.com, and we do that, right? We'll say go, uh oh, look at that. We open it up, open up our web browser, type in superyahoo.com, right? And it's supposed to go to our web page, right, to our, our web server, but of course it doesn't, right? So we've put in this domain name superyahoo.com, but it, it doesn't go to our, our web server. So how can we set up DNS to resolve this name to an IP address, right? Well, we can set up a DNS server on our server to do that, right? So we go to our server. Let's close this. That was our client. Go to our server, and we're going to set that up, okay? First of all, the server has a gateway too now, so that we need to set that. The router needs to be the gateway, right? Okay. And let's go over here to our web server. And just for um, kicks, right, let's change Cisco Packet Tracer to um, superyahoo.com, right? We'll say we've got some links here. Welcome to superyahoo.com, right? That looks good. Right. So there's some other pages here that we can play with, but these are these web pages. So I've just edited the index.html page on our web server, right? We'll see if that works. Now I'll go to DNS, and for DNS, what we're going to do is we're going to want to turn it on, or if yours is already on, you can turn it off and then turn it on. All right, so what I'll do is, is I'll say superyahoo.com, right? An A record resolves to this IP address, 192.168.1.254, right? No, normally we wouldn't use a private address here. We would give it our public address if we were going to be the, um, the definitive or authoritative DNS record or for this domain name. But we're just going to use this private IP address because that's our address right now on this private network. Okay, so it's an A record. All right, and we'll add it, right? We've got it right there, and we'll turn it on. Now DNS is on, okay? So that looks pretty cool, right? So now, I think that's going to work. Back to HTTP, you see we still have superyahoo.com set. So we'll close that. So now we have a DNS server here, right? And we go to DNS server that's on, and it has an A record resolving superyahoo.com to its own IP address where it also has an HTTP server. So let's see if that works. So now on the PC here, we go and go to our IP configuration here, right? And we're going to set it static configuration for this guy. We're going to have to reset it. Okay, hold on. I have to reset my IP address for this guy. 192.168.1.100. I had erased it previously. All right, that's his IP address for the client. The gateway we can put in is our new router. And we'll put in DNS server of our DNS server. Right? All right, that looks good. Okay, so now if we open up a web browser, not only can we type in 192.168.1.254, but we should be able to type in superyahoo.com and get our web page. And there it is, superyahoo.com. So our web server is resolving DNS, and we've resolved to the right address.